Okay, so this test here, we're gonna do test uh, 4.1 C, okay? Under exercise 4.1, question A, 1, 2, 3, I think, okay, 1, 2, 3. Textbook pages uh, 70. Six and seventy-seven. So let us start with this portion, the test portion for four point one C. I'll read the first question. <coughs> Which of the following is a quadratic equation? So A one. Uh, we take the first one and test. There is no other way. So here we are given x plus one by x is equal to x square now as it is given here in the question we cannot really tell whether this is a quadratic equation or not unless we simplify it into the simplest form so let us do that simplify it so x into x is x square plus here one so we just write the same thing I'll write a long line here because the x has been multiplied up to here so the line will extend now up to here divided by the LCM is x is equal to x square, right? So this is the textbook question for A1. And we have to simplify it for this. So here, we have, that implies here x square plus 1 is equal to, now since the long line has come, now we can shift this x to the right side and we'll go to the numerator up and multiply this on the right side so x into x square is x cube okay now let us all bring these terms on one side uh, shift this one becomes minus x cube is equal to nothing left on right side so nothing left means zero right and our job is to arrange the power of the x in descending order, means higher power to lower power. Highest power is x cubed here, x3, so we write the highest power of x terms first, and second one is this one, so plus, no sign means plus x squared, and here plus 1, equal to 0. It's okay, but we normally want to write the first term as positive, so change this negative to positive, which we can do then. If you change one here, the remaining terms also will change its sign. So this plus x square will become minus x square. And then plus one will become minus one. is equal to, and whatever is on right side also, sign of the terms will change. But since we know zero has no sign, no plus or minus sign, it remains the same. This is the simplest form, and here we see this simplest form is not in the general form, not in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. As you can see, x cubed and here is highest is x squared, so it doesn't match, so that means this is not a quadratic equation, so we write here it is not A quadratic equation. Let's remind ourselves of the question. We have to find which one, there is only one quadratic equation. Which one is it? So one is not the one, so this is not the one. So let us go to two. And in two we are given here. We are given 2x square minus 5x equal to x minus 1 the whole thing square so like I said just a moment ago that we cannot really tell whether this is quadratic equation in it in this present form so we have to simplify it so 2x square minus 5x and then here we know this formula from our class 7 8 also a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab 
let's apply this to this form to this this formula to this which is exactly in the same format a minus b whole square so a is x our b is here one so a square so this will be x square plus b square so here one square is b square representing minus two into a into b so a is our x into b is our one so we have used this formula so once we have done that then we can continue and simplify let us do the 2x squared minus 5x is equal to this is fine x squared plus 1 squared is 1 minus into plus minus and minus into plus again minus so I can write there and when we multiply 2x 2 into x into 1 simply get 2x let us shift everything to the one, to one side maybe from right to left so this is same and then we shift this one no sign means plus x square so it becomes minus x square plus one shifted will become minus one minus two x shifted to left side become change sign so nothing is left on the right side now i call it zero so now let us deal with the like terms like terms means the terms having the same literal factor for example x square x square so these two are like terms so here bigger one is plus two smaller one is no number means minus one so plus minus means subtract two minus one one the bigger absolute value has a plus sign so the answer one here also will have plus sign so in other words plus two x square minus one x square is plus one x square which we can simply write as x square ignoring writing one there so minus five x and plus two x again like terms so minus five and here plus two we always make sure when we're doing these operations subtraction or addition that the bigger absolute value is up and smaller is down okay plus minus plus means subtract just like plus minus is subtract so five minus two three but this time the bigger absolute value five bigger than two has minus so the answer three will have minus here the one answer has plus because the bigger one is plus here the answer three is minus because the bigger one is minus hope you're getting it so these two combined these two gives you minus three x then only one more is left here minus one everything is taken into account you can see that so this is the simplest format arranged already highest power x square x to the power one no x in descending order so this one is in the form exactly in the form of the general quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero as you can see here x term x squared term x term the term having no x here is the c so then if any equation match this general formula then that is a quadratic equation so this is it is a quadratic equation so our answer choice the correct one is to this one this it is quadratic equation is this one so that is answer number two which is uh, this 2x square minus 5x is equal to x minus 1 whole thing square this is our answer so the question clearly says which one of the following is the word is means only one quadratic equation is it's a quadratic equation so since we have found this to be the quadratic equation we need not check like this for three and four because we're as per question we're so sure that since this is the quadratic equation the remaining cannot be a quadratic equation because the clear question clearly says there is only one quadratic equation so we can ignore checking the three and four and if we want to write that reason just write below your answer so here in bracket as per question as per question we may ignore okay ignore means need not check ignore checking for three and for why because we know these two will surely not be a quadratic equation because this is the one a1 is done 
Let's go to A2. A sub heading 2. A2 is which of the following is not a quadratic equation? So this is the reverse of the A1. So number one here. We have to do it in like manner. We have to find there is one quadrat one among the four choices given. Only one is not a quadratic equation. So which one is not the one? So here let us first take the one. Three x minus x square equal to x square plus five. So let's just simplify this because we're not so sure now unless we simplify. So let's bring this one to the left side and no sign plus x squared become minus x squared. This one come this side. Plus 5 become minus 5. Everything from right side brought to left side. Nothing left means nothing in other words 0. So now let us arrange in descending order of the x power. x highest power is square. So this one x square x square minus x square minus x square means both are minus 1. And when when both are minus, we add. So 1 plus 1 is 2. And when both are minus, after we add, we have to put minus sign. When both are plus, we do same thing. We add 1 plus 1, 2. But the sign is plus. When both are minus, we add and the sign is minus. So minus x square minus x square, in other words, is minus 2x square. Highest power x square. Then x to the power 1, let us take this alone. So... No sign means plus 3x. Everything taken into account, only this left, so minus 5 equal to 0. This is okay, but then we have to, we usually express the first one in, uh, in the form of positive. So let's change this minus 2x squared to plus 2x squared. And everything else will change. Plus 3x become minus 3x. Minus 5 become plus 5 equal to 0. Okay, so this is the... See the textbook, let us see. Yes, same answer as the textbook. So 2x squared minus 3x plus 5 equal to 0. So this is which is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. As you can see, x squared here, yeah, term. x term is there term having no x here which is c is here so it's exactly matching this format means it is a quadratic equation it is a quadratic equation so we have to continue doing because we have to find which one is not a quadratic equation so let us continue number two here as we read the question, number two is x minus one whole square is equal to three x square minus x minus two. So we can't really tell whether this is quadratic or not. We have to simplify. So a minus b whole square, as we say this, a square plus b square because our b is 1 minus 2 into a is x into b is 1 a minus b whole square s square plus b square minus 2 into a into b x into 1 is equal to here this one we can just write it 3x square minus x minus 2 now let us deal with this here x square plus 1 square is 1 minus 2 into x into 1 is 2x is equal to 3x square minus x minus 2. We can proceed doing it. Let's write this one. x square plus 1 minus 2x, same thing. And then we bring all these terms to left side, let us say. So plus 3x square become minus 3x square. And bring this minus x to left side, become plus x. And bring this minus 2 to left side, will become plus 2 is equal to nothing left, 0. 
there's a range in descending order of the power x squared minus 2x squared means minus 3x squared means minus 3 bigger plus 1 because here there's 1 so 3 minus 1 is 2 bigger 1 minus so here minus in other words plus 1x squared minus 3x squared is minus 2x squared x squared is done let us go to x 2x here x here so there are like terms so bigger minus 2 smaller 1 here plus 1 nothing there means plus 1 so we subtract because it's minus plus 2 minus 1 is 1, bigger 1 minus, so here minus. So in other words, minus 2x plus x is minus x. And plus 1, everything is done here, plus 2, we have very simple, plus 3. 1 plus 2, 3, equal to 0. So we've been saying we like to put the first highest power term, x squared term, is plus positive, so let's change to positive. Then this, everything will change, minus will become plus x, plus will become minus 3x is equal to zero which is uh, i think same as the textbook answer yes so plus x okay so 2x square plus 3x okay something went wrong here so wait let's see uh x squared plus x minus 2x, x squared plus 1, sorry, minus 2x, wrote this side, minus 3x squared plus x minus 2, so x squared minus 2x squared, yeah, minus 3x squared, this one, minus 2 plus 1 minus x plus 1 plus 2 plus 3, okay, so 2x squared plus 3x x minus 1 whole square, 3x square. Oh, we, textbook, we wrote this question wrong. Please correct this one, plus. So that way this will be plus. Please make a slight correction. Here, plus, up to here, okay. Ah. Then when we shifted this 3x square, this side, minus 3x square. Plus x shifted this side, become minus x. This one, correct, minus x. Minus 2 shifted, plus 2. The rest is correct. Please cut these two steps. And we'll do it again. So here. Because we wrote here, we forgot to write plus here. We wrote it wrongly from the question. Sorry for that. Now here. Plus x squared minus 3x squared. So bigger 1 minus 3 plus 1. 3 minus 1, 2. Bigger 1 minus. So plus x squared minus 3x squared. X squared in other words, is minus 2x squared. Minus 2x minus x is minus 3x. Because minus 2 and here also minus 1, then both are minus means we add. So both minus means minus. So minus 2x minus x minus 3x. So done. Now last year, plus 1 plus 2 is plus 3 is equal to 0. So we would like to give the first term as plus, so change it to plus then. This minus will become plus, everything else will change, plus will become minus 3 is equal to 0. Now it's the same as the textbook answer, yes, which is in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Therefore this is also, it is. Uh, quadratic equation. So this also is not the right choice because the right choice is going to be the one which is not a quadratic equation. So let us go to three. We have to continue checking till we find the one which is not the quadratic equation. So let's go to three and three is subheading three. Subheading three is here eight x sorry we're in two sorry subheading three x plus two whole thing square is equal to two into x square minus five. So let us do this, a plus b whole square, we can write it as a square plus b square plus 2 into a into b is equal to 
2 into x square, 2 x square, then plus into minus, minus 2 into 5 is 10. That way when we multiply outside and inside the numbers and the sign, this bracket will get removed. And let's solve this x square plus 2 2 are 4 plus 2 into x 2x 2x into 2 4x we may bring this one this side if you want minus 2x square bring this one minus 10 become plus 10 and nothing left on right side so we call it zero let's deal with the like terms now x square and your x square like terms so minus 2 bigger no number means plus 1 so subtract 2 minus 1 1 bigger absolute value minus so here also minus so in other words plus 1 x square minus 1 2x squared is minus 1x squared, which we may not write the 1, okay? And go to the x, 4x, so just write your plus 4x alone. Plus 4 plus 10 is plus 14. 10 plus 4, very simple, 14. Right, so, it's matching the book answer, I hope. Yes, so, we want to put this bigger highest one is positive always, so x squared rest will change therefore minus 4x minus 14 is equal to 0 ok, minus, yes, so exactly like the book answer, so which is in the form of the general quadratic equation x squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 so therefore this is also a quadratic equation so we have not yet found our answer it, the one which is not the quadratic so most probably the last one is the one let us do it carefully and see the last one and do subheading 4 so here root over 2x outside the root plus 3 the whole thing square is equal to 2x square plus 6 so a plus b whole square again a 2x since there are two factors this time we should put bracket and then after the only square if we didn't do that it will go wrong because there are more than one factor here plus b square here whether we put bracket like this, that's correct. Even if we don't put, that's also correct because now it's only one factor here. Here there are two, so we need that to put bracket. Come to so a square plus b square plus two into a root two x into b three. So sorry, three. a square plus b square plus two ab is this done now equal to two x square plus six. Okay, then we can solve this root 2x into root 2x because root 2x square means root 2 into root 2 is 2 x into x x square plus 3 trees are 9 3 square plus 2 trees are 6 because we cannot multiply to this because this is root and this is a rational number or irrational so only rational rational can multiply 2 trees are 6 root 2 and here x and 2x squared plus 6 let's bring all the terms on one side 2x squared plus 9 plus 6 root 2x shift this one left side become minus 2x squared which was previously plus 2x squared plus 6 previously becomes minus 6 nothing left on right side so equal to 0 okay uh, let us arrange in descending order of the powers 2 plus 2x two squared minus 2x squared 0 plus 2 minus 2 0 uh, x is alone so let's just write this 6 root 2x and plus 9 minus 6 minus 6 is plus subtraction so plus 3 so when we do this 2 plus 2 everything is taken in the account is equal to 0 this is okay but if you want to simplify it more than 6 3 has common factor 3, so take it out. 3 2 are 6 root 2x. 3 into 2, 6 root 2x. 
3 1s are 3 comes 0 and then we can write 2 root 2 x plus 1 is equal to 0 and 3 into means come down here so you have 2 root 2 x plus 1 equal to 0 by 3 0 0 divided by anything is 0 so we can write down same as Yes, same as textbook answer. So, which is not in the form. It's not in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. So this is the one. Therefore, it is not a quadratic equation so this is the right answer therefore the right answer the question is saying which is not quadratic equation 4 is not the one which is root 2x plus 3 whole thing square this one the first step 2x plus 6 is the one which turned out not to be a quadratic equation I hope you're getting it right one more question the last one a3, last part for this test. So A3 What is the question with the C? Here. <coughs> Which one of the following? Sorry. It's a quadratic again. So subheading one here. First one is A plus one bracket x square minus 3 by 5 x equal to 11 where we are given a equal to minus 1 so let's do this that is a equal to 1 means we're going to have to replace this a by my so a equal to minus 1 means minus 1 and plus 1 x squared minus 3 by 5x to the 11. Then we know here minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So 0 into x squared minus 3 by 5x is equal to 11. So 0 into anything is 0. So that's gone. And minus 3 by 5x. Bring this one this side. Plus 11 become minus 11 equal to 0. And we don't want to put this as minus. So put this as plus. This minus will become plus and zero and it remains zero. There's no sign, so which is not in the form of x squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. Okay, it's not in the form of ax squared plus bx equal to zero. Okay, so let's see whether this is matching. Yes, minus 11x squared minus 3x by x. Okay, so minus 3x minus 11. Yes, that's correct. So, this is not the one. We have this time the question is saying which one is not, which one is the quadratic equation. So, therefore, this it is not a quadratic equation. So we have to proceed till we find the one which is quadratic. So that's got to do. In other words, keep writing till you find the one which is quadratic. 2 is 3 minus x the whole thing square. Sorry, minus 5 is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. Solve this one, can't tell like this, so we have to simplify. So a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus 2 into a into b minus here 1 more is there, 5 equal to x square plus 2x plus 1. a minus b whole square up to here minus 5. The rest still same, so let us simplify. 3 trees are 9. 
x squared minus 2 3 is 6 and here x minus 5. We can bring these things to the left side. Plus x squared becomes minus x squared. Plus 2x becomes minus 2x. Plus 1 becomes minus 1. Nothing left on the right side, so equal to 0. Hope you're getting right. So here, now our job is to arrange in descending order of x squared, x power, so highest power x squared, minus x squared is 0. Then x minus 6x six minus 2x. So minus 6 minus 2 is 8. So 6 plus 2 is 8. What minus means after adding? Minus, as I've been saying so frequently by now. So minus 8x. Done. Only, only the number is left. So let's do this. 9. Okay, you can just keep this one and take the minus first if you want. Minus 5 minus 1. What minus means we add. So 5 plus 1 6. Just like 6 plus 2 8. What are minus? So red minus. So we can write here that one. Then this two is minus six, and here plus nine is there. So plus nine is bigger. Put it up. Minus six is smaller. Put it down. So now that will be our answer. Or we can write here. This x is done. Then this one plus nine. And here minus five minus one combined minus six. Equal to zero. The next step you can do it. Minus 8x plus 9 minus 6 here is subtraction. 9 minus 3 is 6. Bigger 1 plus. So here plus. So plus 3 equal to 0. I hope it's the same as textbook answer. Okay. So here. Yes. Minus 8x. Okay. So here. Uh, Yes, so minus 8x plus 3. Yes, so we are getting it. So next here, the one is minus, change it to plus, and this plus will become minus 3 equals 0. So this is clearly which is not in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Therefore, this is also not a quadratic equation. It is not a quadratic equation. So we have to continue because we haven't found the one which is quadratic. And the question is asking us to find that. So the third one, let us do it carefully. Here. 8x cubed minus x squared equal to 2x minus 1, the whole thing cubed. Be careful of this. I'm going to use this formula a minus b whole cubed. I need to write, okay, if you don't want to write in the corner of your notebook if you want. It's better write it, maybe memorize it properly. Equal to a cubed. Okay, let me write this one somewhere else. Maybe here, bottom. A minus B whole cube is equal to A cube minus, okay, 3A square B plus 3AB square minus B cube. We need to memorize this formula and apply it here. Now here, that gives you 8X cube minus X square equal to a cube, so this 2x having two factors, so bracket, a cube minus 3 into a square, so a square is, a is this one, so 2x, two factors, so bracket, a square, then b into b, b is 1, so that's fine, and plus, so I put plus, 3a, b square, so a is 2x into 2x, into b, a b square so b is a single factor so if we don't want we do not put bracket there so a b square this one minus b cube so minus b is one so one cube a cube minus three a b square plus three a b square minus b cube you are applying this formula for this situation so here a x cube minus x square equal to 
2x cube means 2x into 2x into 2x. So 2 twos are 4, 4 twos are 8. x into x into x is x cubed. So 2x to the whole thing 3 will be 8x cubed minus into plus. Before that you do this one, power is there. 2x squared is 2x into 2x, this portion. 2 twos are 4, x into x, x squared. So 4x squared up to here. 4 threes are 12, so minus 12 x square 3 2 square 2 x square into 3 is 12 x squares so minus you put that into one non it to consider so here one square one so you neglect that three twos are six x one cube is one one into one into one how many times still one right let's bring all these things on one side eight x cube minus x square shift this one minus eight x cube Shift this one plus 12x square. Shift this one minus 6x and shift this one to left side plus one. Nothing left on right side. Zero equal to zero. Having 